Hi friends, this is Mohammed Gibran and welcome to our C++ tutorials. In this video, I'll explain you how to create a program or stack using arrays. So, let us first understand what is a stack and how does it works. So, I'll have a I have a small presentation for you. Let's have a look on it first. So, stack are actually uh, last in, first out. They work on the basis of last in, first out. So let me run the amount. So for this demonstra demonstration, I need uh, three cubes. Oops, I lost one. So let me create uh, one more. Uh, and uh, I need uh, this one in uh, green color. So let's make it uh, f uh, green color. So as I already told you, stacks works on the principle of uh, last in first out so let us put some elements inside our stack so this element goes in then we will take the second element and we'll push this inside our stack it goes the second one and now we'll take the third element and uh, we'll throw it into the stack just a second yep now the third element goes in now if I want to remove the first element which we inserted I can't if I want to remove the second element I can't do that so but I can remove the last element and I can just pop it out so that's why the stack is known as last in first out LIFO see it's not there we can remove the last element similarly we can remove the second element now the first element which we inserted so this is how a uh, stack works so that was brief regarding the stacks and now let us um, make a program which works on the principle of a stack I hope you understand by the demonstration how a stack works now let us see a program for that so the class name will be stack and now first we'll create some variables say stack this will be taking maximum 500 elements in it and uh, we need a top value then after that in our public section we'll define some uh, functions first one will be our constructor you already know what is a constructor constructor is a function whose values get initialized by default whenever you create an object for that class so we'll give the top value as uh, minus one minus one means the stack is empty at any given state whenever the value of stack is minus one then you can say that our stack is empty so after that we'll create a push function this will take one uh, value from the user say it will be int x now let us define our function in this what we will do first we will check about the top of the stack if the top of the stack is greater than 500 means it is greater than the our described length of our array if this stack goes above 500 then you cannot insert any more elements into it this if condition will check for that if the stack is full or not after checking the stack if the stack is greater than 500 or the top value of the stack is greater than 500 then what we will do we will just print out the statement saying the stack is full and uh, we'll just return back and suppose if the stack is not empty then you got to do something so if the stack is not empty then we can insert the element in our stack so how we will insert it we'll say stk that is our stack will increment our top value 
which is minus 1 for the first element when you increment the top value by 1 it becomes 0 so in the 0th position what you will keep what you will be keeping is the x value which is coming from here as you can see we are getting the value from the user as x and we are storing it here by incrementing the top initially our top value is minus 1 so the first time this program gets executed minus 1 gets incremented by 1 which becomes minus 1 will become 0 over here and at the 0th position the first value will be kept so after this we will display that we have successfully inserted what what we did we inserted we inserted x okay so this is our push function this is how our push function first uh, works like the likewise we need a pop, a pop function which is used to delete the elements in our stack so let us create that void pop again here we'll check the condition in our uh, last case we check the condition as if the top is greater than 500 means if the stack is full you cannot insert any element in the stack if the stack is full so we are checking if the top is greater than 500 as our 500 is the limit of our array and here to delete the condition we, which uh, you should check is if your stack is empty so to check that we will use the condition if top is less than 0 less than 0 means minus 1 minus 1 means as I already told you whenever the value of top is equal to minus 1 then it means that the, your stack is empty so if, whenever your stack is less than 0 then it has to do something and what he will do he will just say see out the stack is empty the stack is empty this is what it will say let us return now when your stack is empty if he the your program will do this if your stack is not empty then he has to delete an element how he will delete will say the deleted element is and what will be the deleted element stk will decrease the top value this is how you decrement your stack so insertion done deletion done now we need to display our stack how we are going to display using a display function and in our display function we just need to display all the elements in our stack so how you can display it like this in void display right again you have to check if your stack is empty you cannot display anything so again you have to check if your stack is empty or not the stack is less than 0 means minus 1 as I already defined described you what does less than 0 means so if the stack is less than 0 so it will say the stack is empty and it will return if the stack is not empty so it will be going to display all the elements in it for that we need an integer i which is equal to top and your i should be greater than or equal to 0 and your i should decrement uh, I have explained how the how does a for loop works in our previous programs but I will explain here again to make you people understand uh, let us remove these things uh, we don't really need them you can use them if you want but you won't use over here stack i yeah. then uh, we'll give some spaces between every element so let me explain this for loop 
here we are declaring an integer i or you can declare it outside also like this not a problem but um, you can do this also it's not also correct so uh, your i value should be the value of top then as your top value is greater than 0 you have to check unless your i is greater than or equal to 0 whenever your i becomes equal to 0 it will work but if goes less than 0 it won't work so suppose if your top value is 2 then it will repeat this thing for 3 times 2 1 and 0 because it is decrementing first 2 minus 1 1 then minus 1 0 3 times after it is done it will come out of the loop and it will end the for loop so your uh, class is done now let us go with our main function so in our main function let us take an integer as ch and uh, uh, object as ste in of our class we'll loop again we'll use a while loop over here one so I have already explained how a uh, while loop works so what I'll do will select I'll give a uh, output to the user to select select or uh, press one press 1 to push press 2 to pop press 3 to display press 4 exit yeah we'll keep on um, exit option also so after doing this we'll take the uh, user reply and store it in our integer ch after that we'll work with the uh, switch case as you know you have multiple choice over there the switch case will work on ch ch is the value chosen by user if it presses 1 so the push function should work if it presses 2 the pop function should work so let us write a switch case for this thing let's say case 1 if the user presses 1 so it will display see out enter the element and it will store the value again in ch okay don't get confused here we are taking the users option for whatever he want to do so that value is stored over here for that instance of time here we are changing that value so like that we are saving our memory consumption that's very important when you go for big programs save the usage of your memory if the user presses 2 so we need to pop the last element how you do that just call st dot pop function after that give a break I told you what does a break does break will stop execution of all the other options break again here also then uh, we'll go with case 3 if the users select case 3 so we have to display them how do we display them we'll say st dot display we'll close end it now then b r e a k then again we'll R E A K. Yeah. Then our fourth option will be to exit. If the user presses four. We have to exit. For this, we need an uh, extra header file. We'll 
add it in just a moment this ends our switch case be careful with the braces then uh, here ends our while loop and this is our main function so this is our switch case till here but uh, we have not inserted the element in the our array yet so how do we do that we are saving the value given by user in ch so we'll call the push function over here with the object name dot push then uh, we'll pass the variable from here like this if we run this program here we'll return a value as uh, 0 to uh, end our program and we need an extra header file for our exit to work that will be std lib dot h now let's see if our program works yep. save it mm, we'll run again well what happened semicolon yes i forgot a semicolon over here give it now run it what again semicolon also over here see the semicolons mm. press 1 to push press 2 to pop press 3 to display press press 4 to exit so now let us push one element into it select one enter enter the element first element will be 12 successfully inserted 12 press again the options are there press 1 to push 2 to pop 3 to display 4 to exit again we'll select one only second element will be 23 again push 34 in push 45 in push 56 now we'll display select 3 and display the result your elements are 12 23 34 45 you see it is the first element has gone back as 12 and your recently given element is at the back as 45 so when you use the pop element what should happen your uh, last element should get deleted so 45 should get deleted so let us select second option to pop the element it's successfully done deleted element is 45 and now let us display it this is option number three now your uh, array values are 34 23 12 which were before 45, 34, 23 and 12. So we have successfully done a program on stacks using arrays. So let us press the option number 4 to exit our program. So this was a simple program explaining a stack using arrays. Hope you understand the video and you liked that. Thanks for watching.